hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing a Q&A because I haven't done one in a while and I really didn't know what to film this week. I asked you guys to ask me questions on Instagram and I'm also going to be answering some questions from YouTube. So let's get into the questions. The first question is, how is life? Honestly, pretty stressful right now. I'm not going to pretend that things are good because they are really not good right now, but everything will be okay and I will survive. The next question is, how did you get involved with the climate strike? The question was about my last video, which was about the climate strike in San Jose. The story of how I got involved is probably not what you all think it is. Basically, I was just at a Cambrian Community Council meeting and I met this teacher who is also the vice president of the teachers union here. And after hearing me talk about transit at the meeting, he came up to me and said, do you want to meet sometime and talk about transit and climate issues? And I said yes. So we met and we talked about a lot of this stuff. And at that meeting, he told me about the climate strike and then I ended up going with him to one of the meetings about it. So basically, I found out through a teacher that isn't my teacher. But I'm really glad that I got involved the climate strike was one of the most inspiring days of my entire life. So shout out to Nick for telling me about it if he's watching this. The next question I'm going to answer is also about the climate strike and that is what's the best thing that I can do to get involved with climate action? And I think that this is a really hard question to answer because it kind of depends on what kind of resources you have. I think that one of the most important things that you can do is control the things that you can control and that's living a more sustainable lifestyle, taking public transit or getting an EV if you can, or biking and walking places, using reusable containers, buying sustainable products, getting solar on your house if you can, and other things like that is one of the best things that you can do. And also trying to get other people in your family and community to do the same is also really helpful. Second thing that I've talked about a lot on my channel, which a lot of people don't really like, is going to government meetings. That is by far the best thing that you can do to change policies in your area. You probably have a city council in your area, county board of supervisors, the environmental committees in the city, and a transit agency. So go to those meetings if you can and speak up for sustainable policies. Try to get people to come with you because turnout is usually really important for things like this. The next question is when did you get involved with climate action? I'm really old so I don't remember but it's been a really long time for me. I think it's been over 10 years. First got involved after watching an inconvenient Truth, which I think came out in 2007, so I guess it's been about 12 years, which is a long time, and I've definitely seen some positive changes happen, which is really cool, and especially in this area, people are really starting to be more conscious of what they're doing and live more sustainable lifestyles. I remember something that I was working on back when I was in, I think, elementary school was the plastic bag ban in San Mateo County and Santa Clara County. So when you go to a store here, they don't actually give you a plastic bag. You have to pay for it. But most people actually bring their own bags now, which is really cool. And the next question is kind of like a chance me question. I'm not going to say this person's stats on here, but if you want to know if you can get into SJSU or any other CS, figure out your eligibility index and check the impaction results from last year, asking me if I think that you'll be able to get into SJSU without telling me what your major is, is not very helpful. There's some majors that are pretty easy to get into and there's some majors that are really hard to get into and there's obviously some in the middle. So if you ever want me to chance you, tell me what your major is. The next question is, I applied to SJCU when will I find out if I got in? I'm not entirely sure how it works now, but I found out in mid-February. So you should probably find out sometime in February or March whether you got in or not. And yeah, not to be negative, but they don't usually go to the waitlist because they usually over-enroll by a lot. The next question is, thoughts on iOS 13? I got it the day it came out. Overall, I really like it. I especially like that they have real-time transit information now, but Instagram has been really glitchy for me. I can only listen to people People's stories with my headphones in for some reason so hopefully they'll fix that but I always get the update on the first day and I always regret it because there's always some sort of bug that they don't fix until later I don't know if they're gonna fix it by the time this video is posted but generally I would say wait if you can because it's probably not gonna be perfect when it first comes out and the last question that I'm gonna answer is do you like living in San Jose overall yes I'm really happy that I live in San Jose and I will hopefully eventually be able to buy a house here. Which I didn't like it that much in the beginning, but now that I've met so many great people here, I really love it and I want to stay here for the rest of my life. My biggest issue with San Jose is that the rent is ridiculous. There's also a lot of political conflict. The public transit isn't that great and it's not very pedestrian friendly, but despite all of that, I still really like it. There's lots of good people here and the weather is absolutely amazing. So those are all the questions that I'm going to be answering today. If you have any other questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments below and I'll try my best to answer them. Thank you all so much for watching. Stay awesome and I'll see all of you very soon with a new video. Goodbye.